Ladies and gentlemen, animals, vegetables, and minerals, it's time for The Zoo Factor! Scoured the four corners of the earth, even though it's round and hasn't got corners, in search of the most talented creatures in the animal kingdom. We've seen the best, the worst, <laughs> and the weirdest. <laughs> but who's got that all important zoo factor? There can only be one winner, and remember, if you're beaten, you're probably eaten. Now, let's meet our judges. First, he's got a majestic manner and a magnificent mane. It's King of the Jungle, Clyde! Next, she's got the smoothest skin in the sea and the coolest clothes in the cupboard. It's Fashion Queen, Celia! <laughs> and finally, he's the missing link between animals and plant life. The baboon with a banana for a brain, it's Barry. <laughs> Audience, are you ready? Acts, are you ready? And judges, are you ready? Then let's meet our first act. She's a girl who's hoping to wow us with her magical voice. Please welcome Croco Delilah. Headed, but I do have quite a good voice. <laughs> See, I told you I did. I've had singing lessons since the age of two, and my da says I might be the best singer in the whole wide world. And tonight, I'm going to try to set the record for the highest note ever achieved on Zoo Factor. It's going to be the best thing ever, 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 isn't it? I hope you're ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fasten your seatbelt, Mac. We're in for a bumpy night. What on earth was that? Were you trying to kill us all with sound? Simply roar! I was just trying to make an impression. And you did make one. A terrible impression. <laughs> Sorry, girl, but that was just no flippering good. But everyone says I've got one of the best voices in the world. We'll all be deaf if we hear any more of that. Please let me have another go. Talk to the tail, cos the seal ain't listening. You'll regret that. No one refuses Croco Delilah. You haven't seen the last of me. Why, am I having you for lunch? You'll be sorry, all of you. <laughs> I'm quite sorry already. My ears hurt. She even shattered my banana. It's not fair. Mum and Dar say I've got the best voice in the world and I have. Oh, I'm sorry. Mind that broken glass? I think the judges are stupid. Unfortunately, it's their opinions that count. How dare you? I am a genius. And I will win this competition, and then you will all be sorry. Oh dear, she seems to have taken that quite badly. Well, she hasn't been the only one to struggle today. Let's take a look at some of the auditions from earlier on. <laughs> Barry, Barry, Barry. Did you see? She actually shattered my banana. Shattered it. And that was my last one. Where am I going to find another? Oh. Oh, Tar. 
Was that your tummy, Hilly? No. Was it my tummy? No. Maybe it's a ghost. This studio must be haunted. Cool. It's very unlikely, Barry. And don't go telling people it is in case you upset them. Right, mustn't tell people the studio is haunted. Must not upset them. Ghost! There's a ghost! The place is haunted! Don't be upset! Nobody be upset! <laughs> Did you know, Mick, that the fastest creature on land is the cheetah, with a top speed of over 60 miles an hour? Interesting. Any idea what the fastest creature in the air is? Mm -hmm. A cheetah being fired out of a cannon. Huh? Have you heard? There's a ghost in the studio. A, a ghost? ghost? Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Cool, eh? No, Mr Barry, not cool. We haven't got a ghost on the list. They haven't got clearance from us, haven't signed the visitor's book, or got a pass. We'll have to deal with it. <laughs> if there's something weird in your neighbourhood, who are you going to call? Yeah, uh, Mick and Mac? Oh, let's just go. <laughs> There's a ghost in the building. You, Barry, are a mango and a liar. There is no ghost in this studio. There is. Nonsense. If there was a ghost, you'd be terrified. No, I wouldn't. Nothing terrifies me. <laughs> OK, that terrifies me a bit. Why did we hire him as a judge? Because we look even more brilliant by comparison. Ah, yes, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next act. He's a very funny fish indeed. Please welcome Fantastic Mr Fins. Girls and boys, Fantastic Mr Fins here. Here's a funny story for you. I was uh, uh, could you could you just bring the mic a wee bit closer? Thanks. So, I was swimming through the sea the other day when No, actually, sorry. You you have to bring the mic even closer, please. Uh bit nearer. So, there I was. Oh, yes. I was swimming through the sea. No, no, you're going to have to bring it much closer. Well, tremendous. One of the best acts we've ever had. Really? I thought it was rubbish. Barry, have you ever heard of sarcasm? No, what's that? This is. Barry, you are one of the most talented creatures in the world. Thank you. Oh. I give up. The one thing in that act's favour is it smells great. Fried fish. Mmm, mmm, delicious. <laughs> the ghost! See, the studio is haunted. I told you it was. Just because something is going woo, it doesn't mean it's a ghost, Barry. <laughs> Hang on. What if there really is a ghost? Oh, It'll be terrifying. All that attention on someone else! <laughs> I must get some new clothes and accessories immediately. <sighs> Spanner. Spanner. Pliers. Pliers. Big spongly wongly thing that sits in the back of the workshop and no one really knows what it does. Spongly wongly thing. Cheers. And I am done. Right, Mac. Time to catch this ghost. I'm assuming that's more than just a vacuum cleaner. You are assuming correctly, Mac. This is a spirit-spotting, phantom-finding Ghostbuster 2000. Which also cleans carpets. Which cleans carpets, too. Let's go! Oh, bad luck, Mr Finns. Not quite so fantastic on this occasion. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. Anyway, let's meet our very next act, Jazzatronic. Are you all right? I'm all right, but Ginger's a bit nervous. Yes, I, I heard there was a ghost in the building, and I'm really, 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 really scared of ghosts. Now, don't worry, I'm sure there's not really a ghost. Hey, everyone, just to say there's definitely, definitely, definitely a ghost in the building. <laughs> Still nervous? No, no, I'm terrified. You have to remember, anything Barry says doesn't count. But I saw the ghost too. Terrible it was. You saw it? What did it look like? Big and white and frightening and making a sort of groaning sound. Did I mention it was frightening? Because it was. If you don't like ghosts, maybe you'd better go. Maybe I should. No, don't go yet. You're about to go on. Oh, all, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hugely unusual trumpet piccolo combo, Jazzatronic.
Excellent. Finally, someone with actual talent on the show. Thank heavens for that. Roar some stuff. That was brilliant. You certainly know how to swing that trunk and that piccolo. It definitely worked for me. I L-O-V-E-D loved IT it. And I've got just one thing to say. Luke! No, no. What I meant to say was... Ooh, the ghost! You've done it again. You've squashed me. Is that part of the act? Because if so, that is rubbish. <laughs> OK, Mac. Looks like we have a code 52B. Oh, yeah. A horse with sore knees. No, Mac. That's a 52G. 52B is squashed mouse and non-material intruder in the building. Time to use the Ghostbuster 2000 to catch that ghost. OK. But first, let's use it to clean up the squashed mouse off the floor. Right. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for one of our best-loved yet least-known acts, The Bush Baby! Mick and Matt are going to find the ghost any minute, so you don't need to worry. Well, on you go. I'll be here waiting. Let's find this ghost. Lead on, Mick Duff. Hang on, you're not a ghost. You're just a pesky terrapin. I can be a ghost if you want. I can sing my song dressed as a ghost. Go on, let me do my song. No chance. Right, Mac, on cherries. Oranges, apples, peaches, cherries! Ah! I told you, donkeys, not to practice your banjos there. He has told you. I wonder if Mick and Mac have found that ghost yet. I doubt it, Barry, because rather like your brain, the ghost doesn't exist. Eh? Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to welcome our final act. Will you please welcome the fabulous Mr Cheetah? <laughs> Hello, I am Mr Cheetah, the animal with the fastest land hands in the world. Tonight, I will be entertaining you with some of my great disappearing tricks. Allow me to entertain you. You, sir. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. Please tap this here box thrice. <coughs> Thank you. I will now say the magic words. Cheaty, weekly, abracadeetly. Now tap the box again, sir. <coughs> You'll notice that your watch is missing, sir. Yeah. But if you lift the lid of the box... Ah, oh, thank you. Sounds good. 
Now, I shall summon up all my powers to make Betty disappear. Abraka Jenny, disappear. And behold! <laughs> he's gone! Brilliant! I shall now make him come back again. Oh! Abraka Jenny, reappear. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Thank you. Is that Barry? It's what, Barry? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Mac? Only if what you're thinking is, I'm looking forward to having fish for me dinner. Exact. No, no. I'm thinking it's ghost getting time. Ah. Right. Feed up your top, all of you. What? Oh, oh, you. Let's go. <laughs> Crocodile Yes, it was me all along. And I would have got it away with it if it hadn't been for you meddling meerkats. Why were you pretending to be a ghost? Because I wanted to win. But I knew after my performance that I'd never make it. So I set out to try and destroy the other acts by scaring them. Plus, it did allow me to yet again demonstrate my impressive vocal range. Is that so wrong? Yes, yes it is. is. Oh. And uh, you can put me down now, Celia. <laughs> Honestly, fancy grabbing me and holding me in your arms because you're scared of a fake ghost. <laughs> yeah, right. Ow! <laughs> well, what a dramatic end to the show. But who will win tonight? Let's remind ourselves of all of our great acts. <laughs> Judges are conferring. The acts are waiting nervously backstage. But the judges seem to be in total agreement. The winner tonight is... Jazzatronic! Thank you. Thank you. I knew that the studio wasn't really haunted. Mm -hmm. yeah, me too. You were scared, though. Was not. Was. Was not. Was. Was not. Was. Was not. Whoa. Mummy! <laughs> was! <laughs> yeah, you can. Coming up next time on The Zoo Factor. <laughs> Don't miss it. And until then. Hello, yeah. Don't be a mango.